Pastor Zillinger's Daily Devotions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The sermon text for the weekend from Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchmen wait for the morning, more than watchmen wait for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love. With him is plentiful redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all his iniquities. If you know the liturgy, uh, there is a word in, in the liturgy. Now, granted, we borrow from Latin or we borrow from the Greek for things uh, because the ancient language is for it. Uh, So sometimes we translate it in English, but it's the Kyrie, uh, meaning Lord have mercy. And in the liturgy, we sing it or we say it over and over, Lord have mercy. Many times people think this is just a traditional thing or an old church buddy-duddy thing. And I'm going to do something different. I'm going to have a praise song here. I'm going to lift my hands up and have a lot of joy. And I don't want to hear about this um, mercy and this problem of sin. But it's an important thing in the liturgy. It's an important thing for your life. For the service starts like this. It starts with an opening of you're broken and destitute. And you need forgiveness of sins. And so you confess your sins. And then God says, I forgive you. He does it through the mouth of the pastor too. He says, hey, speak to them my forgiveness. Tell them today they're forgiven of their sins. So now you have a clean slate. You're like, I'm forgiven. I'm a child of God still. I'm reminded of this. I'm living out my life. This is wonderful. I'm at the very beginning. And then as a child of God at the very beginning, you move to the curie, which says, Lord, have mercy. And what it means is, Lord, I don't deserve these things because I've already confessed my sins. I know I'm your child, but I haven't acted like a child. I asked for your mercy on this because I don't deserve it. And in fact, even stretching to, I asked for your generosity, your overabundance for things that I want and need, for big things of the world, those things of the high priestly prayer that Jesus says, um, or for things I need for this day. And as I move into the service, I need some spiritual nourishment. I need to be reminded what Christ says. I need to grow. I need to be admonished. I need to be looped back to my forgiveness of sins. Lord, have mercy. That's what that Kyrie is doing for us, propelling us forward uh, to what we will hear in the lessons, what we hear in the sermon, and how we celebrate things in communion. The Lord bless your day as well as your week.